Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2023 Volkswagen Atlas SE with technology 4Motion V6. This particular one is pure white on the exterior with marl brown leatherette interior. As you hear a plane it fly overhead, remember you can fly in and drive out. I'll pick you up at the airport. LED headlights, LED running lights, turn signals and reverse lights. That aggressive chin on the front. Black roof rails, black wheels on this one as well. They're a gloss black wheel, 20 inch alloy. Keyless entry on all four doors. A power lift gate with an easy kick open hatch. Chrome faux exhaust tips at the back below the uh, oversized reflectors there. Nice bold line down the side. It goes from the tail lights over the wheel arches, under the door handles, into the headlights. Very nice looking vehicle. Now this one is actually being sold as we speak. So there's some personal effects in the car. So don't be uh, surprised to see that there. Uh, but this car is going to be uh, going to a new home here fairly quick. So let's take a look inside. As we open it up here, you're gonna see the marl brown interior here with the triple contrast stitch there. Arm pad trimmed out in brown here. Window switches right here. One touch up, one touch down on all four of those windows. There's a window lock right here, so you can lock out the rear windows. Silver tips on those window switches as well. Power mirrors right here. Uh, also heated mirrors. The heated mirror is incorporated into the rear defrost. And then a power lift gate right here. There's a little handle right here. I can lift up on this guy right here. There goes my lift gate. And I can lift up on that handle as another plane flies overhead. Lift up and hold. It catches the hold and that will close that hatch. So you can do a contactless pickup as well. Here's a look at those seats there. Marl brown on the seats themselves. They're heated seats. Contrast stitch up the side here. Double contrast stitch up the bolster here and behind the shoulders. Also a double contrast stitch in the headrest here with this black button right there for your manually adjusted headrest. For your power seats, lumbar support. This is forward and back. And then this is also forward and back and seat up and down adjustments here. So this is your lateral adjustments as well as your up and down. And then you have this one here that controls your seat back. Notice that the base of the seat is trimmed out in black. The floor and carpet is all black. There's your scuff plate right there. Here's a look through. There's a bench seat back here. Uh, car seat hookups there, there, and also over here on this side. So three car seats fitting in this uh, middle row. And then over the back there, there's the third row with the adjustable headrest there. Light color colored headliner up above too, and that power sunshade matches the headliner. Filters out the sunlight there and hides the gorgeous panoramic sunroof. As we go ahead and climb in here, there's your Atlas floor, floor mats right there. They're monster mats already installed in this one. Your automatic headlights right here. You do also have poor weather lights, so you can pull out on this guy right here. It works like fog lights. It helps illuminate your way uh, if you're driving in poor weather and uh, lights up the peripherals uh, on the sides. Uh, and you just push in on that to turn that off. Now you do have a flat silver finish down the door panel here. Wood grain in between right here. That goes around the door locks, around the vents over here, over the radio, and over to the other side. You do also have a leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel. I can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where I need it. And then I also have that flat silver finish on a steering wheel here, the triple spokes. Volume control is right here. This is my volume up and down for Bluetooth. Navigation, if you're running turn by turn directions, maybe with Apple, um, uh, um, Apple Maps or Google Maps. And then also um for uh the the radio and phone calls so your bluetooth stuff is also going to be uh controlled by this volume here it changes what you're controlling by what you're actively using turn signal of course over here on this side uh wipers over here you have um rain sensing wipers as well there's a look at your digital cockpit right there three main views that's your dial screen there's the wide screen and there is the crop screen so you've got those three main views there and you can edit what's displayed in these guys too using the radio um, most people are going to go with the dial screen there as well and in the center here you can actually change its on driving data and by hitting arrow up or, or arrow down i can actually change what's displayed there miles to empty energy consumers uh, speed oil temperature triple dometer and what have you these are all different things that you can select and you just hit okay right here to select one and now it's there um, this is your mouse essentially you can go left or right by turning left or right there's vehicle status telephone audio compass 
assist systems, and then back to driving data. So you can do all that with these four buttons here, up or down, left or right, and then using OK in the middle, so I guess it's five buttons. Storage bin up here, um, that's been there since 2018 on the Atlas, that's a great use right there. Uh, this one does have the auto dimming home link mirror with home link connect a four-year subscription for free You got three buttons here for your uh, garage door opener and a force one for Bluetooth digital compass right there And it is auto dimming and then up here. You do have a vanity mirror with an LED light above you have that on each side Just like that and you also have this giant panoramic sunroof with the power sunshade Here's the button for that. Just whoops push right there the sunshade goes all the way back, opens up that beautiful sunroof, uh, the, the beautiful view of the sky, I should say. And then this button here is gonna open up the sunroof. Just push back on that guy. That pane of glass stacks on top of that one. The second pane doesn't move, but you do get a pop-up windscreen here as well. That is a thing of beauty. Let's a lot of light in here. Look at how it looks in here. Uh, here's a look at that passenger seat here. It's a manual adjusted seat here. There's a little lever right there for that. Uh, close up look at the monster mats there as well. Over on the side here, there's one handle here. This adjusts the seat back pitch. It does not raise or lower the seat, but uh, you do control the seat back pitch with that. In the glove box here, there's your manuals right there. And also your tire warranties are all included in there. Now this one's already sold. So since it's already sold, we have the window sticker folded up in there. This one comes in at 46,312. The extras on this one include 1200 bucks for the panoramic sunroof. It also has 595 for the black wheel package, 385 for the auto dimming home link mirror, 327 for the monster mats, 90 bucks for a roadside assistance kit, and that 1295 destination charge right there brings you to 46,312. There it is right there. We'll fold that back up and put it back in the glove box here. In the armrest here, trimmed out in marl brown as well with that double contrast stitch lots of storage in here medium sized purse fits right in here nicely you do also have a usb-c connection right there as well so you have uh, a total of three up front two right here that are also backlit so you can see them at night a 12 volt charger port right there wireless charging pad right here as well right in front of the shifter there you can charge most phones in the case right there unless you're using an otter box or maybe a uh, pop socket uh, for your app stuff here, App Connect allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or Mirror Link on the system here. This phone's already paired to the customer, uh, so that's why you're only seeing the iPhone stuff there. But you do also have uh, a fantastic backup camera here. Backup camera gives you trajectory steering. I can turn the wheel left. I can turn the wheel right. That yellow line moves accordingly. The green line stays put, and the red line signifies where the bumper is there. Also with this button right here this is my park distance sensors here that's an on off switch for those and it also brings up the rear view camera on demand as long as i'm stationary so by pushing that button there i get the same view as i get with the uh, uh putting the car in reverse however i now get these little icon this little uh overlay right here and there's little icons here that simulate objects that are approaching the rear bumper or the front bumper and they move accordingly and change pitch you have that for you there and also if you're going into a car wash or something like that uh, and you don't want the sensors being triggered and driving you nuts while you're in a car wash you can just push that button to turn them off you also change your views here there's the regular view there uh, this is like a 3d view there's a trailer view there and then there is uh, the fisheye view but most people are going to go with that regular view right there all right and just hit that button again to turn that off your e-brake is right here. You just lift up on it to activate, put your foot on the brake and push down to deactivate. Of course the push button starts there and then you do have uh, the snow mode. When you're driving in accumulating snow, you can turn it to drive it, the, the driving mode to snow. That's going to give you dedicated all wheel drive. Now you do have the roadway here, which gives you eco, normal, sport and custom. And I can touch it and change it here or I can push the button here and change it without getting fingerprints on the screen. So I'll put it back on Eco. I think that's where it was. And then you do also have Off-Road and Off-Road Custom. Off-Road Custom is going to allow you to tweak all of these different things with the drop-down menu here. So I can scroll through those things there and change it as well. And I'll just turn that back to the roadway there. So now we're back to Eco. And I want to go ahead and close the sunroof here. The sunroof does have tinted glass. So the sun beating down on you is not as intense as you would expect. Just with that tinted glass, it blocks a lot of that. 
Let's take a look at the second row. There's a look at those black wheels. Very nice, it just pops on this car. In the second row here, more Marl Brown and the door ends back here with the triple contrast stitch again. A larger arm pad here trimmed out in Marl Brown. Silver tips on the window switches. And you do also have a sunshade right here. You have this on this side and also over on that side as well. And that just rolls back down in place. Got a leg room in here, fantastic. Nice socks today. There's a magazine pocket there and also there. These are a little boring compared to what I usually wear. Now right here, there's rear vents right here as well. Climate control can be controlled right here. You can turn it on and off right here. There's an auto setting here. There's a fan speed setting. And then there's also a temperature setting here. So I can turn that on or off. I'll turn that back off. Down below here, two USB-Cs and a three prong plug in right there as well. Lots and lots of leg room here. I have lots of space. Also over there, magazine pocket as well. There's a look at your seats there. Car seat hookups there, here, and also here. A fold down armrest in the middle that's squishy yet firm. And it is trimmed out in black on the interior part here. Adjustable headrests on all three. And there's a look at your giant panoramic sunroof. Here's a look through from the back to the front. Instrument cluster there, center console, shifter and armrest. And there's that giant sunroof, gorgeous, all the way over your head. Now let's take a look at the rear hatch. Well, actually we're gonna do something else here real quick. Here's a look at the back seat. You just lift up on this guy here. The seat pitches forward. If you have a car seat or booster seat in here front facing, you don't have to remove it to get access to the third row. Slide the seat forward. There's a look at your two seats back there. The seat sits high off the floor, so a larger passenger back here, maybe 6'2", 6'3", won't have their knees in their chest, so there's going to be a little more comfort there. Those headrests flick up with the flick of a wrist there, and the headliner is sculpted, so a taller person can sit right there and not have to worry about hitting their head. The backs of the seats, the second row seats and also the third row seats are steel plate reinforced, so in the event of a crash, any cargo that's back there in the back will drive forward with a sudden stop and for a collision, this seat stops it same with that seat back there top tether hookups at the base of the seats here and towards the top on the back two seats there both of these seats are double contrast stitched on the headrest as well and also down here and there's a bar underneath to slide the seat back if you look at the rear hatch here they've got some blankets in here so they're actually purchasing this car right now um, these seats will fold flat with this little lever right here. The headrest moves up and there's also a lock here. If you push it all the way up, it locks in place. There's a tab there to release it. Two C-pillar vents here on the back, both sides. And there's a look through from the back to the front, giant panoramic sunroof. Two more USBs right there, USB-Cs. So you have seven USBs and a 12 volt charger port right there. Underneath this floor, Spare tire underneath there and a the jack is off to the side there. Car, car, blo car go blocks are right here. Also a, a bag hook on this side as well. Recessed incandescent trunk lights on either side. This one has the roadside assistance kit right here as well. And as we close that lever button right there, there's a look at your 5,000 pound tow hitch. Seven pin adapter is already included. This will tow 5,000 pounds. And on the back here, you see off to the left, it says SEV6. And over to the right, four motion. That lets you know it's all wheel drive. This car comes with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles, and includes two years of free maintenance. So your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm gonna give you a third year of free maintenance as well. So your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile oil changes are all covered. Also, if you buy from me, I want to give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in a car like this one, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a great day.